coming up. Consumers across the globe are asking for really complex stories about the food that they want. This is a real platform for producers to make continuous improvement in things that matter. It actually helps these ranchers become profitable. See how one company is helping beef producers add value while satisfying consumer interests. Next on The American Rancher. And welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. If you make your living raising cattle, beef production practices are second nature to you. And your commitment to the land, your cattle, and your community is just another day in the ranching way of life. But the average consumer doesn't necessarily understand any of that. On today's show, we'll discuss ways to communicate your story to consumers from all walks of life and how that conversation can add value to your operation. There's a really big misconception, I believe, with the public in general that ranching is somehow it has a negative impact on the environment and the ecosystems and I feel that that's a false narrative that sustainable ranching actually can be a good thing for the for the environment and the ecosystem that we have the opportunity through grazing to improve you know wetlands re improve uh, wildlife habitat and uh, actually do some pretty neat things with soil carbon sequestration I think that consumers don't really realize with the beef industry that it's three years just from conception to plate. You know, decisions that you're making are four and five years out. Beef always gets such a bad rap all the time. And, you know, they don't understand what we do outside of just raising beef cattle. I think it's more about our story and who we are and what we're doing and why we do it. I think that, that our industry as a whole has lost that along the way. That's the thing that we probably haven't done a good job about is telling, telling the end consumer who we are, you know, and so that's part of why I think beef, it's easy to bash beef because we don't have a large enough voice and we're not catering on that emotional level that the consumer actually, I think, is drawn to. We need to be very transparent with the consumer and let them feel comfortable with the way their beef is being produced. And that's one way that we can verify it by a third party. We don't, you know, you, you don't have to take my word for it. Third party verification is so important because simply it's confidence confidence that the consumer can have in the quality of the product that they're serving to their family and friends. That's really, at the end of the day, what they really want. They don't want a lot of information, but they want to know that it's authentic, it's real, and they can trust it. Trust is so important to our business and it begins with this third party verification program. And IMI Global is the engine that drives that. IMI Global is a third party verification company that was started initially in 1995, basically tracking data and building and developing databases for different customers. Since BSE that we had in 2003, cut off our export to Japan, and we had to develop an agreement with Japan in order to verify that the cattle were under 20 months of age. IMI was the first USDA process verified program that was approved for that claim to export beef back to Japan. And that was how we got started in the verification business. Since that time, we've evolved and added additional verification programs like NHTC, non-hormone treated cattle for export to the European Union, verified natural beef. Then recently we added beef care. IMI Global overall then is under the parent umbrella of where food comes from. Consumers are, are brand oriented. We have to procure cattle into these value added programs or into these brands so that they meet those requirements for a consumer that is looking for that particular type of beef 
or looking for that brand that is carrying those particular claims. And so the verification programs are what is a transparency to validate that information. So the consumer, since they, they have something that they want, it's, it's a supply issue. So we've got to find ranchers that are willing to go through the verification process, the audit process, letting people onto their ranch, letting them kind of look at their operation. And it actually helps these ranchers become profitable because it's tough work running a ranch these days, you know? I mean, just like everything else. I mean, land's getting expensive, cattle are expensive to buy, labor's expensive, machinery's expensive. So they need to be able to get some sort of premium for going that extra mile for these things that the customer wants. We have a variety of different programs. So, you know, it might be organic certification or source verification, or it might be um, something specific like animal welfare claims. And different customers' values, consumer values, align differently with different things. So it's being able to provide them that transparency, offer opportunities to food producers in all these different areas that they can then differentiate their products and add value to their products while kind of meeting that in demographic. And, and as part of that evolution, I think one thing that became apparent was this demand for communication around sustainability and what does sustainability mean and and how do we help them actually verify and continuously improve sustainability on their operations in a way that's authentic um, and transparent. And so that's one of the reasons we launched um, a program called CARE. And, and CARE for us was really kind of the culmination over all the history of the business coming together saying, this is a real platform for producers to make continuous improvement in things that matter. How do we make sure that we're treating our animals humanely? How do we make sure that we're caring for the environment with respect? How do we make sure that we, that we can communicate and protect our communities and our people? And, and you know, a lot of, a, a lot of these people are, are integral part of rural America and keeping those towns and the infrastructure in place. And how do we help them improve upon that and then message that to the consumer. And so that's when we launched CARE as a way for all of our farmers to participate because so many of them, that's what they care about. After the break. Sustainability should be looked at like a value added proposition in the fact that we can actually capture more value for than what we were doing before for the same amount of effort. Learn how to increase your profit potential through a new value-added third-party certification from IMI Global. You're watching The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. IMI Global is a worldwide leader in third-party verification and traceability solutions. Their new CARE certification not only gives consumers confidence in the beef they eat, CARE is a sustainability-driven, value-added program that helps to increase the bottom line of your ranch. So the, the real driving force behind beef care is this overwhelming message and desire from consumers to know more about where their food comes from. And, and today it's getting more complex. You know, 20 years ago it was just price, quality, taste. And today now consumers across the globe are asking for really complex stories about the food that they want. It's all about transparency. And, and that really stems from consumers not having a connection, a direct connection to food production anymore. They're just so far removed from how food is produced, it naturally instills this need to ask a lot of questions. And so what Beef Care provides is the answer to that story. It's a very transparent, authentic, verified look at how beef is produced and not just from one aspect. So we take the three most important aspects of every producer's operation, animal husbandry, environmental stewardship, and people and community. And we put it all together. And we're looking at those things because that's what's important 
in today's society. It's not a pass or fail. It is a true scoring system. I believe there's so many people out there that don't understand what ranching and farming operations are truly doing for the environment. It's wonderful to hear people's stories and that's truly what we're doing. We're letting them tell us the stories. It starts from an application process that you fill out information about your operation. Then the application comes into us. It's reviewed by a, a CVS or a customer verification specialist for that particular geography that your operation is based in. They review that, then we send the contract out. Once we get that back, then that really gets the whole process started. A manual is sent to you, then we schedule the on-site audit. In our producer manual guide, uh, we actually have some guidelines in there of what you need to do to prepare yourself for that on-site evaluation. You know, what documents you need to have available so you're not, when the auditor is there, and expedite your time and the time of the auditor both. And then what kind of things are going to be asked and what kind of records they want to see. And then once that is gone through with the on-site audit, then we review the information and upon approval, a certificate is issued, apply the EID tags, and then market your calves to those programs. Along the way, the, the, the CBS is there to help you through the process, answer any of your questions, to make you feel comfortable through the process. I, I'm not gonna say it's a five minute deal. It's not. Once you've been in the program, the first year will be the, you know, the biggest part that will be new for you. But once that's established, then renewal process, it gets to be pretty uh, easy for the producers that are involved in it. As long as they keep up on their information, their documentation, They've, they've learned what they need and what's going to, what it's all going to entail. So we talk a lot about the bundling opportunity in our programs, adding beef care into Source and Age and HTC Verified Natural. But one of the newest and, and kind of most exciting opportunities that beef care presents the industry is that it doesn't have to be a natural program. Um, it doesn't have to be an NHTC program. Those are all things that we can bundle with beef care, but beef care is standalone, just like NHTC can be standalone. What beef care is, is this opportunity for any beef producer raising animals that, that's, that believes in traceability and believes in telling their story to engage in verification. So we really see this as a program that can fit all kinds of beef production systems. So it really truly is the first industry program coming to the marketplace that says, this is about your ranch and all the things that you do. Utilizing the CARE program allows ranchers to be able to capitalize on the demand for for sustainability and, and in our industry sometimes that word creates a teeter-totter effect it can be a very much a positive and some people view it as a negative but the reality is is ranchers are the most sustainable stewards of the land nobody that i've been around in all the years being in the beef industry isn't wanting to improve their land their water their quality the care of their animals you know everybody is doing those kind of things and sometimes that word sustainability comes to a rancher as a little bit of an attack. And the reality is, is we do the greatest job of being stewards about that and the consumer loves to hear those stories. And when you sit down and talk about what the CARE program can do from terms of capturing value, it takes very little for the ranchers to adjust to their program to add that to it. You know, it takes little documentation and, and sometimes it might take thinking outside the box to, to remember and record some of the things that we're doing, but the CARE program really gives you a chance to, to capitalize on the efforts that you're already doing on your ranch and allows you to capture more value through the retail side from a consumer that you're wanting that feel good to go with their eating experience. And, and that's that to me, that's the beautiful thing. I think sustainability should be looked at like a value added proposition in the fact that we can actually capture more value for, than what we were doing before for doing the same amount of effort. You know, the ability to really hone in on the story that beef producers have and the great work that they're doing in this really holistic way when you look at the beef care pillars is not only 
powerful when, when it comes to marketing beef and telling the beef story, but now having the opportunity to translate that into this really authentic, powerful story for brands and consumers to take and leverage and share has, has honestly been the best part about the launch of Beef Care to date. It's a new claim, it's a new program in the market today, but the demand for it is not new. When you talk about sustainability and the pillars of sustainability and what is the foundation of beef care, retailers and brands and consumers have been asking for this story about food production for the last five years. Right now we're very focused on let's get the supply ready to meet this demand because it's there, but we've got to have the supply so we can start labeling product. So it's a little bit of a chicken and an egg scenario for us today, but we've gained so much ground already quickly. Producers that we work with are advocates of this program even before they're enrolled, you know, that they want to tell their story. Fallacy in thinking from some of our producers is that they've got to drastically change everything to be in these programs. And the reality is, is it, it takes very little, sometimes nothing more than just documentation, but it gives us the opportunity to ensure to the consumer that we are doing things that are right for the land and right for our animals. Because as ranchers, we all know if we don't do that, we're not going to stay in business anyway. But it really gives us the opportunity on that side of it, being from the ranching and, and feed yard sector side of it, that we can capitalize on that added demand that they're wanting from us. We're just telling them how we're doing it and, and you know verifying that those are the things that we're doing. Up next. I think about the future of food and the future of, of beef and how the consumer interacts with that product 100% that it has to be around a brand, a story, and a program. See how the new CARE certification from IMI Global is working for Prime Pursuits. That's after the break, here on The American Rancher. Everything that we do at Prime Pursuits is focused around how does the consumer have the best meal experience possible. We're a registered Black Angus operation where we sell genetics to commercial cattlemen across the United States and frankly the world to help improve the cow herds and profitability for American ranchers. Prime Pursuits is a totally uh, aligned beef program with where we have full traceability and transparency in the complete supply chain from ranch to retail. Through uh, an EDID system and a process verified program that Prime Pursuits has uh, with IMI, certainly we got to have the Black Angus genetic, 44 farm genetic on top of that. And so that's, that's the two things we look at first, vaccination protocols and those things. And then they also have to fit our other specs of no hormones added. We're asking all ranchers uh, with 250 head of cows or more to, to volunteer to be in the beef care program. The Prime Pursuits, in a way, is more than your standard value-added program because we're able to empower the producers with the data that we're providing back. All of our cattle must be traced using EID tags. So for Prime Intelligence and for Prime Pursuits, we have to have a chain of custody of our animals all the way through the supply chain in order to, to gather this data back for them. So that means tracking the animals from the producer to the backgrounder to the feed yard to the packer. IMI really helps keep track of that chain of custody and why the EIDs are so important. Some of the data that producers could expect to get back from Prime Pursuits are health data, performance data, and carcass data, um, specifically like a quality grade, yield grade, ribeye area, and producers can use that, that information to improve the genetics of their herd. When I think about the future of food and the future of, of beef and how the consumer interacts with that product, I think that 100% that it has to be around a brand, a story, and a program. And I think programs like Beef Care and what we're doing with Prime Pursuits, producers adding value to their program, so that in essence, the consumer gets a benefit of that investment that they make. I chose 44 Farm Spools because their reputation is impeccable, so that I can uh, breed these cows to those bulls and then use their offspring for my beef program, or to sell back to 44 Farms for the Prime Pursuits program. 
It's important to be transparent to consumers. And with those verification programs, they're able, we're just able to tell consumers, you know, through a label, like, yes, we know that this rancher is doing exactly what he's saying because we've been there and we've seen it. The quality is there. There is no question about it. The verification programs that I and my global has provided us makes it the very best program and the most sustainable program for years to come. But it is an everyday battle to make sure that we do deliver on that quality and then also provide all of the assurances in our programs that we're doing it wouldn't be possible without a partner like IMI Global. We worked so many years in developing the foundation in which to build a great story and a great program and then to see it in reality and then most of all to hear the comments of customers. That really, really makes it all worthwhile. I think one of the ultimate goals of the Prime Pursuits program is to have the producer feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. That what we're doing together is more than we can do individually and more than they can do individually. But by working together, we can do so much more. And ultimately what that does is it connects the consumer to the product that they have and the story that they have. And ultimately, through those pillars of traceability and transparency and what we do in the supply chain ultimately delivers trust and confidence to the consumer. They get a better experience, we get better uh, producers in the program, it really just kind of helps feed itself. Prime Pursuits is driven by values more than anything else. Quality, trust, and then looking to the future to get better and we do it as a team. None of us could ever do any of this by ourselves. It takes a team. So we welcome men and women that want to be a part of something bigger than they could ever do on their own and be a part of a community that is dedicated to providing a great Angus beef product so that men and women and children all over this country can enjoy what we all know is the finest protein in the world and provides the greatest eating experience. So we invite people to check us out, be a part of it. I know it's not for everybody, but it is for those who have a big vision of tomorrow. Learn more about IMI Global's care certification by logging on to imiglobal.com forward slash beef. And to find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick for our entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.